At the Boys and Girls Club of San Francisco, girls are equally welcomed. But that's not always how it is in the rest of the world. You don't really see women doing science ever. Like, even on like, TV shows, you don't see like, women in a science room. Like, you always see the men. But in this science room, you'll see nothing but women. This is Next Gene Girls, a program founded by molecular biologist Marlena Jackson. Six young women from San Francisco's Mission and Bayview districts are trying to break the glass ceiling in scientific research. If you've never saw anyone that looked like yourself doing science, how can you actually see yourself doing it? Today, the high schoolers are teaching younger girls how to use an electrical charge to identify the food colors in Skittles. But when the gel never hardens and the effort fails, Jackson uses it to teach another lesson about science. It's about experimentation, right? And if it doesn't work, we have an opportunity to do it over. Tomorrow, these inner city girls will begin serious hands-on internships at research centers around the Bay Area. Trinity Boykin was selected to help study heart development in human embryos at the Gladstone Institute. It is really overwhelming. I'm like, whoa, this is a lot. Like, this is real science. It will give them each a huge leg up on their careers, and by teaching others, it opens a door for even more bright young women, like six-year-old Angelina Olive, who's smart enough to know there's plenty of opportunity to go around. Do you think girls would make better scientists than boys? I think everybody is a good scientist. In San Francisco, John Ramos, KPIX5.